everyone, and welcome to Antique and Historical Maps. And today we are going to learn a graphic design technique for working with our uh, clip art royalty free antique maps. I'm Bruce Jones, and I'm the creator and developer of the Antique Historical uh, Royalty Free collection of maps. We have maps from uh, the 1500s to the 1900s, um, world, North America, South America, Africa, Asia, some states, some cities, Paris, Rome, all that kind of stuff. Um, these are ready for your graphic design projects and uh, presentations, whatever you want to do. And uh, also included in that collection are a lot of extra bonuses. We have our CIA maps, World Factbook maps, um, all our JPEG maps, and really special, which we haven't put in anywhere, are our World of Maps Illustrator EPS maps. So let's get into what we're going to talk about today. And um, today we're talking about, this is our package, and on the package we had a, a white box, translucent box, that uh, the type laid on top of and you can see the map underneath. So that's a, a cool technique to highlight an area um, if you're using a map as a, on, a, on a package or a book cover or something like that. So I'm going to just show you a little bit how to do that. Um, up on the screen, what you see here uh, is an InDesign. This is the CS3, the Adobe product InDesign. Uh, there are other desktop publishing programs. Quark works, this technique works with Quark also. So this is our file. This is the cover file that we had for making this. And um, what I'm going to do on right here in the center of it is I'm going to put a white box that's translucent. So I'm going to go over to my, my um, toolbar and select the box tool. I'm just going to draw a box in here. And you notice that it came up blue, so we're going to fix that. And we're going to make that white. So let's fill that with white. And uh, we want to get our type, so let's bring that to the front, arrange, bring to front. So now what we have is a white box. Uh, let's take that black rule off, so I'll go over here to my swatches, to my outer rule, and take that off. So I have a white box um, with type on top, but it's a solid box, and I want to see some of the maps that come through it. So, um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to use the one of the effects tools or the transparency tool uh, in InDesign. I'll go to my window. Right here you see effects. So let's bring that up. And at the moment it's telling me that this box is filled with 100% of the color. And you notice it's selected. See the little handles around the outside. I can take this little slider, click on it, and you'll notice as I slide it gets lighter and lighter. You can see it just getting lighter. We can go all the way down here to just a little screen, or we can come up to 50%, or we can come up to about 70%. I think 70 is what we used on our box. This can be any color. It doesn't have to be just white. Let's just for the moment, we'll make it, um, make it yellow, or make it green. You can see the map underneath it, so that's pretty cool. We'll make it orange or blue, but we're going to use white for this project. So. Uh, there you go. You can see it. Let's move this out of the way. So there's our box. You can see how that now matches this, and that's what we did to make that translucent box. So um, pretty cool technique. Works really well. Um, it's great for anything you want to have that's translucent. So uh, thanks for joining us on that, and um, we'll have another lesson next time. So and remember, you can sign up for our on our mailing list over here on the uh, the blog at antiquehistoricalmaps.com. And uh, right here, you can put in your name and a name and email address. It will keep you on our list. You can also um, uh, get a discount on the collection, and you can receive ten free sample maps that we have uh, that are ready to go for your project. So, uh, thanks for joining us again, and uh, see you next time.